Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering the final story in Superman 82, The Super Reporter of Metropolis. You see, Clark was driving a bus full of most of the Daily Planet staff, or at least staff writers, and due to him being afraid of giving away his powers, he sort of let the bus get buried under rocks. And because he's Superman, he could get them out at any time, but he finds that uh, a suspicious problem for a whole bunch of reporters, so he's not going to rescue them right away, which poses a problem. How are they going to get out a newspaper? Maybe they should have thought about that before going on this huge trip that took up most of the day. Also, wouldn't it be more suspicious Superman not immediately saving them, seeing how often he seems to be following and saving Lois whenever she needs it? It's way more suspicious when he doesn't do it. That seems to say something is wrong, right? Superman decides to do all the reporting, be the staff writer for the Daily Planet. Except all the other reporters complain and take him to a judge. Not to court. They're never in court, but to a judge. And the judge tells Superman that he can only do the reporting if he agrees to some limitations. Except, what law is he breaking and why does he have to follow this? This is capitalism, damn it. It's America. He can take whatever advantage he wants. That's the whole point. You create your company to destroy all the others, absorbing them and make all the money. I'm not saying it's a great system. It's actually a pretty terrible system. But that is how 50s America sees itself. So what exactly are the problems here? And if he doesn't follow this, what exactly are you going to do to him? Don't feel like they have much of a case to stand on. Though Superman has a fair play and he is from sort of a socialist society. So yeah, he'll go along with this. These limitations involve anything that involves reporting, like talking to people. Don't worry, Superman has solutions. That's the real fun of the comic. The problem is... When you think about it, what he ends up doing is way more nefarious than actually him just doing all the reporting. Like, he creates weather. He's actively making the news. He needs some news about an ambassador, so he brings the brother over so he can hear their conversation, so he doesn't have to interview him. I don't know. This all seems ethically wrong. But hey, there's nothing we can do to stop the man god. And my favorite one is at the end when he's skywriting the uh, the story to another member of the Daily Planet staff. Because not everybody's there. So it's possibly a copy editor or someone typing in the story as he writes it in skywriting. Though that would pose a problem as any newspaper could get exactly what he wrote. And that's when he finally saves uh, the Daily Planet. At this point, Lois has found the false Clark he's made out of clay. I don't think he tried very hard on that 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 uh, deception. But don't worry, he's already prepared something. It never matters. It's it's sort of Lois's main thing, other than the sexism and jealousy, to be trying to figure out that Clark Kent is Superman and thinking she has him only for him to rip it out of his hands, involving another dummy and the power you didn't expect to be as useful as it consistently is: the super ventriloquism. Seriously. How does that keep becoming so useful? He hasn't used it in decades. It was a joke in a Tom King Wonder Woman story recently. But not really all that much to talk about other than just the ludicrous way it went about to try to find fun ways for Superman to do reporting. That is just kind of sinister. <laughs> okay, that is it from Superman 83, the super reporter of Metropolis. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notification when a new video is up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story and other tech comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man of tomorrow? And seriously, what was their plan if he didn't go along with these restrictions? Okay, have a great day.